What is going on, Jerome's? Your quarterback. That's right, your quarterback, Kirk Wood, Jerome, Ezekiel Cousins. Was pretty damn phenomenal last year. Uh, in the first year with Kevin O'Connell, uh, he really got things going. Frankly, he had one of the best statistical seasons of his career. Uh, Vikings won 13 games. He tied the NFL record for most fourth quarter uh, come from behind game winning drives. All of that stuff. And he did it while facing a career high in sacks and pressures. And the connection with he and Jefferson is legit. Him and Hawkinson are pretty damn awesome uh, on short notice, and he and KJ are going to be lights out. But more importantly, the chemistry with him and Kevin O'Connell, it's undeniable, man. It's undeniable. And even though Kirk is going to be 35 this offseason, well, not this offseason, this season in August. It's actually coming up soon. Uh, but, yeah, he's going to be 35. But it feels like he has a number of good years left in him. Uh, but the Vikings balked at the opportunity to extend him long term. You know, reportedly the Vikings wanted to do another one-year Band-Aid deal. Kirk, looking for a little bit more security in his twilight years, aren't we all? Uh, but either way, the Vikings and Kirk head into the season in a contract year. Uh, and Kirk uh, would be set to hit free agency. Uh, franchise tag would not be applicable because uh, the void years on his contract would uh, void uh, after the deadline for the franchise tag. So the Vikings have to decide if they want to extend Kirk Cousins uh, now, later, wherever. And frankly, I think that they sh it does make sense, and we'll see what happens. But uh, I... I understand that he's getting a little bit longer in the tooth, but Kirk takes care of his body. Kirk, I think, is dialed in more than he's ever been in his career. And we, we use example a lot. Rich Gannon won the NFL MVP at 38. Uh, Kirk is only going to be 35 uh, this season. And with Justin Jefferson and with Kevin O'Connell, and is frankly in uh, one of the better situations for a quarterback uh, in the National Football League, especially knock on all the wood uh, once that offensive line stays healthy and good to go. And Vikings co-owner Mark Wilf, uh, he weighed in on the situation. Uh, Kevin Seifert, who, ESPN, who is not Carl Gerbschman, who is not. Uh, Mark Wilf on if he wants Kirk Cousins, a pending UFA, uh, back next season. Quote, we'll leave that to Quasey and Coach to work through those discussions. There's always uh, conversations on that, but our real focus is 100% on 2023 and getting where we need to be and where I know we can be, end quote. So this is the, the hedging language that uh, Mark Wilf in the media this offseason, as well as Quasey, as well as Kevin O'Connell have used all off season uh, before free agency before the draft uh, about Kirk where we're focused on 2023 and yada 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 so I I, I do think that the Vikings appetite for extending Cousins probably does have a lot to do with how he fares this season and frankly if Kirk cuts and paste what he did last year and the Vikings have much success I think that you really have no choice I, I think that you will have to pay Kirk Cousins and as of right now I know that it's like an old time, uh, old pastime in Minnesota to uh, just hammer the Vikings about Kirk Cousins' contract. But right now, he is the 14th highest paid quarterback in the league by average, and he's been leapfrogged by some of the uh, ginormous contracts that have been tossed out there. Kyler, Russell, uh, Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, you know Deshaun with that huge uh, guaranteed number. Patrick Mahomes uh, is the seventh highest paid quarterback in the league right now. It's insane, man. But also you look at you know, Daniel Jones getting $40 million per year. Same thing with Dak. Same thing with the corpse of Matthew Stafford. And is Kirk going to be looking for $40, $45 million per year? I I wouldn't put it past him because, frankly, he would deserve it. Like Again, who had a better year last year, Kirk or Dak? Kirk or Daniel Jones? Kirk or Matthew Stafford? It's pretty easy to see. And Kirk, I still think, has three, maybe four years of his peak prime still in him. But... We'll see. Uh, again, I think from all the hedging language, I, I think a lot of it depends on how Kirk operates this year. And Kirk, I mean, it, once the offensive line gets good to go with J.J. and T.J. and K.J. and Addison and Kevin O'Connell running things, I see nothing but great success with Kirk this year. Um, so I – and absent, the Vikings are going to be success so be successful this season. So they're not going to have a high draft pick for a quarterback unless they go up and get him. Or maybe Jaron Hall shows a little something preseason, and that gives the Vikings faith moving forward. But if I had to wager right now, I think that Kirk Cousins will be the quarterback of the Vikings in 2024, and maybe even 2025, and maybe even beyond. But really does hedge on this, uh, depend on this season, and we'll see what happens, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, will Kirk Cousins be back in purple past 2023? Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.